Goody, goody! <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. It's a one of Wednesday, and I got some stuff for you today. Well, one stuffs. <laughs> yeah, it's this beauty right here. Yes. By the way, how the honk are ya? <laughs> yeah, this is your friend Dan over at Roverland. We are just having a great time. I've got a one of Wednesday here. And uh, I want to show you what I've got. I've got an auto art, as you see in the background here. It's a Range Rover 4.6 HSE. That's right. Uh, this is not only the only scale of auto art that I have, but this is the only auto art model I have. And uh, very, very pleased to have it. Uh, very interesting. Let's look around the box before we get to the price. All right. And that story there. All right. So here we are. This is, um, does it even say the scale on it? I, I think it's a four, 140, 143rd scale. And uh, I don't know why it doesn't say that on the box. But yeah, 143rd scale Range Rover. Uh, here is the bottom. Uh, you can go to the website autoartmodels.com produced by Gateway Global Limited. So uh, here's some details. Detailed scale model for adult collectors. Yeah, these are not child toys. That's for sure. Not a child's toy. And uh, for this kind of a price, yeah, you don't, uh, no, Elon Musk and uh, Bill Gates are the only ones that let their kids play with uh, $30 model toys, that's all. <laughs> all right, now uh, let me uh, gently, I did, I was able to uh, open this up, I've never had this open, I was able to uh, very carefully open this box up, so this is uh on camera the first time that I've ever had this out of the box. I've uh, owned this for quite a few years, but I've never ever tried to or attempted to take it out of the box. So this is a first for me. Yeah, I like keeping things in the box, but uh, hey, we're all friends here and let's uh, enjoy this beautiful model here, huh? Um, I think I can snap that open. Carefully, quietly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she grand? Yeah, quoting uh, Jurassic Park there. <laughs> yes. And uh, anyway, here we are. Beautiful, beautiful model. Unbelievable details. Auto art is one of the premier model makers out there uh let's talk about auto art as you see there's quite a different uh font there to that uh auto art established in 1998 auto art is a hong kong based diecast model company uh and has um sold by now sold by uh, well, was sold by Triple or Double A Collection LLT, L L T oh, oh man, LTD. So the company was formerly owned by Gateway Global LTD, which we read on the bottom here, but now they are Double A Collection LTD, uh, which was uh, based out of. Costa Mesa, California. So the USA right now is uh, what's producing these. So as you can see, this is a closed cabin, no open windows, and that can only help but preserve the wonderful details that we got in this beautiful vehicle. Two-tone seats, the uh, gear shift, and the center console are... Uh, Beautifully detailed. As you see, this is a right hooker. Very, very nice. 
not totally clear windows. Well, I guess it is. It's just uh, very hard to see in there. But uh, yeah, beautiful details. Those doorknobs on the outside are separate pieces as long as, as well as the bumper guards along the door uh, trim there. Very nice. Lens details on, uh, on the back as we are still trying to focus. I'm trying to get as close as I can with this uh, bugger so we can really see the details uh, because it is very nice. There we go. Uh, La a Range Rover on the back with the 4.6 HSE on the back. Nice little exhaust pipe there. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Accurate tail lenses there. Very nice two-piece rear hatch. It even has the Land Rover logo on the left there. But interesting enough, Auto Art has produced more than 45 car marquees. And listen to this, in nine different scales. Yes, I believe uh, the 145th scale, I believe that's the smallest they go, but they have done some very beautiful stuff. I know they do up to 118th scale for sure, but just a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. I tell you, I am excited to have such a beautiful car. This is great. And now uh, just the nice, not the classic Range Rover, but a classic Range Rover. Yeah. Uh, some say that this is the ugly years <laughs> right after the classic and not quite into the sleek stuff uh, we have today. But, and I'm sorry, I don't know what year uh, model this is. Uh, it doesn't give me a year. I think this is like 2000. Three, two, around the 2000 years, uh, maybe even later than that. Boy, I'm not, I'm not fluent in my Range Rover right here, right now on the spot, but uh, very, very nice car. Uh, matter of fact, that reminds me, um, I went off-roading with a fellow that off road with one of these and we came across a road that was partially washed out by a crick. And if I remember right, he offered up his brand new spare tire to throw in the hole to fill up <laughs> so we could put a bridge, use my sand ladders to drive over. And uh, he was like, yeah, no problem. That's what it's for. <laughs> Clear headlights. Look at the little wipers on the, on the headlights. Is that classic or what? Awesome, awesome. There are individual wipers on the... Uh, Windshield, those are separate pieces other from the uh, headlights. There's uh, mirrors there. Very, very nice. Awesome piece. Awesome piece. So I was doing some research on this bugger and uh, silver, red, black, and I believe there's a green version. I believe there's a green version. And uh, time of this filming of this video... Uh, there was a, uh, a couple of these on eBay for sale. Now, they were abroad, Greece and other places like that. I didn't really see any from the States, but they were calling for, yeah, 50, 60 bucks. And, uh, yeah, very, very uh, spendy and uh, with, due, with due purpose. I mean, these are worth every penny uh, that they... Uh, call for and so let me just talk a little bit about uh, now the uh, sticker on here uh, model empire and that's where I got it from if you guys follow me at all uh, you know the story couple uh, wow couple about five years ago maybe I went to model empire and uh, I traded in a bunch of my uh, uh, collection of uh, airplane models, car models, things that I had picked up throughout the years and traded him all my stuff that I wasn't really interested in or whatever for everything and anything he had that was Land Rover related in the store. Now, I'm 
don't go down there and uh, say that Dano sent you, but <laughs> and try to make such a deal. Uh, he was very gracious and kind enough for me to do that. I don't know. He may uh, do that stuff still. I'm not sure. But I do know this. I looked this up just to make sure I am Facebook uh, uh, follower of Model Empires. They have a Facebook page, so check that out. They also have a uh, website, I believe. But uh, they are out of uh, West Allis, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm here in Wisconsin, uh, mid-state Wisconsin. So Milwaukee or West Allis is about uh, three, four hours away from where I'm at. They're over on Greenfield Avenue. But uh, yeah, you can check them out. Model Empires, they have just started. Uh, new hours after the whole COVID uh pandemic thing here so they're up and running they have uh slot uh, slot tracks that are there but they're right now they're temporarily closed till uh you know more uh things come open and stuff like that as the pandemic and things uh get back to normal so but there you go one of wednesday beautiful range rover 4.6 hse Love it. Auto World can't get enough of it. <laughs> it is a great piece. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you come over to Facebook, Roverland. Uh, join up as a membership uh, member over there. Also, follow me as a follower on uh, Roverland channel Instagram and uh, catch us over there. And uh, one last thing before I end, uh, remember July 12th, uh, 2020 is going to be the one year anniversary. So we're going to be doing a boxing video. Yes, you don't want to miss that. I'm going to box up stuff and give it away. So make sure you uh, put that on your calendar. Uh, that's uh, kind of less than a month away. So make sure you set a date for that. All right, that's going to be it. Thanks for joining me today. And always remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're out traveling, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.